Angela, what you doing? I'm trying to make an online dance video. I want to make something awesome, but I've just got this one move. Oh, how about adding some of this? Ooh. What do you think? <laughs> Three, two, one. I'm Emma. And I'm Jay. Welcome to Press Play. Jay, all of your dances were awesome and would make a great dance video. Make me bummed that I only have this one move. Well, let me see it again. Okay, well, why don't we do it together? Okay, I actually think we could go to a lot of places from that move. We could add a little of this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Or this. Oh. Or this. <laughs> oh, that is great, but how can we put it together? Oh, you know who could help? Oh, yeah! Kid Pro! But where do we find her? Whenever there is a need, she'll be there! You ready? Three, two, one, press play! Whoa! Another playground? Another recess? Well, what were you expecting? I don't know. Maybe like Kid Pro's secret layer or something? Emma, Emma, look around you. This is where online dance videos are being made. Look over there, and over there, and over there. But the best one Ooh. is still to come. Whoa, Kid, Kid Pro, Pro where, where did, did you, you come, come from? from? I sensed there was a need, so I came from my secret lair. Ah, oh, see? Okay, okay. Kid Pro, we need your help putting together an online dance video. <gasps> you two are in luck. Kid Pro is a pro at almost anything, but online dance videos are Kid Pro's personal fave. What have you got? Oh, that's just the thing. Jay has a lot of moves, but all I have is one. I mean, what can you do with that? Well, let me see it. Uh. <gasps> Emma, there is so much I can do with that. This situation reminds me of 1 Samuel 9. Making a dance video reminds you of a Bible story? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. The people of Israel, God's chosen people, wanted a king. Of course God was their king, but they wanted a human king. God loved them so much that God decided to give them what they wanted. So he told Samuel to go and anoint a king, which is basically saying, you're that dude. So there was a guy named Saul. Saul was tall and handsome, but other than that, he thought that he didn't have much to give. He was from the smallest tribe and from the smallest group in spite of that smallest tribe. One day, Saul and his servant were out searching for some of his dad's lost donkeys when he heard that Samuel was nearby. They called Samuel the seer because he saw things before they happened. Saul wanted to go see Samuel and get his help, but he didn't have anything to bring as a gift. The servant only had one quarter of a silver shekel, which is like a coin. Kind of like having only one dance move. Exactly. But 1 Samuel 9.10 says, good. Saul said to his servant, come, let's go. So they set out for the town where the man of God was. So Saul decided to give what he had. Little did he know the plan God had. As soon as Samuel saw Saul coming with his one quarter of a shekel, God told him that Saul was the one who would be king. That's amazing. Yeah, just like this dance is about to be building off of Emma's one amazing dance move. You ready? Oh, I, I guess. I, I mean, yes! Seriously? Saul brought just one quarter of a shekel to Samuel. Do you know what he got in return? What? First Samuel 10, 1 says this. Then Samuel took a flask of olive oil and poured it on Saul's head and kissed him, saying, hasn't the Lord anointed you ruler over this inheritance? What does that mean? 
it means he was that dude. Saul brought what he had to give, and what he got in return was being declared God's chosen king. We might not always feel like we have a lot to give, but if we bring what we have to God, we find God can use anything I give. Whoa. Thanks a lot, Kid Pro. Hey, wherever there's a need, I'll be there. Now back to my secret lair. Do you think that we could put the oh, oh, Where'd she go? Oh, where she said, her secret lair. Oh. Oh, cool. oh. Cross play handshake time. Join us. Oh. 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 Oh, that dance was catchy. Once you start, you can't stop. <laughs> sure, Jay. <laughs> Let's recap, friends. We pressed play and found ourselves back on the playground at recess, this time with Kid Pro again. She helped us with an online dance video and shared a story from 1 Samuel 9 and 10. Saul brought what he had, though we thought it wasn't much, and God used that to anoint Saul as king. We might feel the same way sometimes, but God can use anything we give. What's something you can give to God? Even if you think it's insignificant, give it to God. You might just be shocked at what God will do with it. Now it's time to drop, drop the, the verse. Oh, I think it's time to drop the verse. Emma, you know it. Here we go. Show them how it's done. <laughs> See what great love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God. First John 3, 1. See what great love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God. First John 3, 1. See what great love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God. First John 3, 